The fifth annual Pink Promenade event at the Mount Pleasant Town Center is just around the corner. The event is on October 7th during Breast Cancer Awareness Month to benefit the Roper St. Francis Foundation Breast Cancer Program. From complimentary bites and sips to a catwalk featuring cancer survivor models, you won't want to miss this event. With me today in the studio is Kathy Herman, the Marketing Director for the Mount Pleasant Town Center. Kathy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. First of all, how does it feel um, five years of this event? Um, how does it feel going into this fifth year? It's pretty amazing. Uh, it has grown every year, and every year gets better and better and better. It's so much fun to celebrate these women. I mean, how can that not be fun? Mm -hmm. So fifth annual, it's going to be absolutely amazing, and I know we're going to talk about a couple of little things that I've added in yeah. to make this year even better. Yeah, so for those who don't know, what is the Pink Promenade? Pink Promenade is a cat catwalk and cocktails, and it is a fundraiser for the Roper St. Francis Foundation Breast Cancer Program. Programs. And the best part about this is that all of the money stays in the low country mm -hmm. and directly helps these women who are going through breast cancer. And you know, you mentioned a little bit about this. What's new this year? Well, we have flower crowns this year with wow. Nell's florals, uh, so the women that can come can make their own little cr uh, flower crowns. We also have fairy hair <laughs> with the sparkle bar. Those are bar. both a big hit. I know, yeah. I know. It's going to be great. And of course, um, we've got the most delicious brunch food from Burton's Grill and Bar. We've got bubbles, and we've got amazing entertainment, too. Gravel Road is playing for us this right. year. So you've got all, all the best things. Yes. Um, and all things pink. All things pink. So are you going to be able to get pink fairy hair and the, stuff, too? Yes, you are. Okay, I might get mine before the event so I can have Ooh, it. Ooh, okay. you should have brought it on today. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> would have matched our outfits, too. Um, talk to me about these models. Um, what is it, how does it feel to be able to watch these women, all women, right, um, who have gone through so much um, suffering from, from breast cancer? How does it feel that they are going to be strutting the stage for this event? Well, if you speak to any of the models that have been in the previous five years, the one thing they say is how it makes them feel, right? So some are going through chemo currently, some are already passed and are in remission. Some have just found out that they have breast cancer. And so they are treated like supermodels, they get dressed in the latest fashions, and they get to strut the runway. And the look in their faces and the smiles and especially their families to see them and they mm -hmm. feel so strong and so empowered and they are not going to let breast cancer be everything to them. It's, it's, it's amazing to think about. What have you heard from some of those women years past? Like you said, this is the fifth year of the event. What have you heard after they get, they, they get off that stage and they have that spotlight on them? What have you heard from them? Well, one of my favorite parts about the event, too, is when Andrea Serrano, who is our stylist for the show, she gets up on the stage afterwards with all the models and kind of just lets them talk, explain their stories, talk about what this has meant to them. And there's not a dry eye mm. um, at the event, but it's a good cry. It's support, it's empowerment, it's making these women feel like they're still women. Mm -hmm. I know that's a very hard thing for some of them to go through. Mm -hmm. That is my favorite part of the event, by the way, mm -hmm. when we hear the stories of these women and just seeing them smile. Mm -hmm. And we talked about, before we even started this interview, we all know someone who's been impacted by this. That is correct. So it's, it's an amazing thing to really get together at the beginning of Breast Cancer Awareness Month and have this platform to support these women as well. It's one of my favorite events of the year, and it continues um, to be. And mm -hmm. I, can never, I can't say that we will never not do <laughs> this event. Yep. Yeah, no, and, and it's a very popular event. Um, tickets are selling fast. Yes, we limit the amount of tickets. There's only 100 tickets available. We do that for a reason. We want enough people. We, there's uh, chairs on our lawn. You can have a seat. We want to make sure that it's a very VIP feel, mm -hmm. and we only have a few left, uh, okay. and the event is next Saturday the 7th. So only $40 per person okay. gets you everything. It is worth every penny, and get your tickets now. And how can people get their tickets? MountPleasantTownCenter.com. Amazing, Kathy. Well, thank you so much for all you do for this amazing cause, and I hope everybody comes out and um, enjoys the Pink Promise. I month. hope so too. It's uh, right now. We now we just want a beautiful day. We have been very blessed with the weather. Yep. Uh, October, as we yep. know, can be funny, but um, I'm sure that for these women, it's going to be a beautiful it afternoon. Is. Kathy, thank you so much. Thank you.